Hello there, Pisces. Welcome to your weekly reading. Um, your love reading seems very, very interesting, um, and I can't wait to talk about it. So um, let me just say, first of all, I have here the Six of Cups. This is the, you know, walk down memory lane, blast from the past, communication from people that we thought were um, gone and out of the picture. And all of a sudden there's communication from the past, from somebody that you have had a relationship with, some, somebody you had a fling with, somebody that you were thinking about. And I feel like heavily you were thinking about them because you guys are so psychic. And then there's communication, there are messages or there are things coming in from this person. I see many of you, um, the, the communication is coming in, but you're waving that person goodbye because you have somebody else. And I, I don't feel like, you know, it was a, an easy decision. It's, it's not like, oh, I don't need you. So I feel like it's somebody from your past that um, you had a good, you know, good chemistry with, good rapport with, somebody quite trustworthy. And so, you know, if you were single, you would definitely reconnect. And so for those of you who are single, there are opportunities to reconnect, okay? And I feel like the person is a good person. For those of you in relationships, you're waving that person goodbye, and that's why it's, it's very bittersweet because you want to be truthful and faithful and just um, real and, and, and honest with the person that you're at now. So either way, this is not a, um, a, an easy decision. It's something that you have to do because your higher self demands it of you, okay? So when this card fell out, I kept seeing like, um, you know, do the right thing. Be fair, be honest. And so I feel like for, for some of you, you need that because if you don't do that, you can end up feeling very guilty if you're like, you know, stepping out of the relationship or if you're communicating with exes and you have to hide, even if you're not doing anything, you know, like sleeping with them or stepping out on your relationship. But I feel like that communication that you have to hide from your significant other or from your the person that you like right now, um, it's not truthful, okay? It's like lying by omission, which you guys are really notorious for. So be careful about this energy, okay? Um, I feel like it's a really good week for love relationships, especially for singles. Um, but I feel like you have to be very straightforward and you have to be upfront and honest with your dealings, okay? The reason I say that is we have here the page of wands. This is communication, messages of love, invitations to go out, invitations to usually, do you want to go out dancing, want to go out drinking, want to go out to this house party, want to go out to this celebration I'm having, this get together. It's something where it involves a lot of people and it's um, also something that is really fun and usually when this comes in I would say nobody wants to turn down this offer because it's really fun it promises a lot of exciting things there's an outdoorsy element to it it could also be you want to go to a, you know to watch like a game um, like go, going to a stadium doing something outdoorsy okay and I usually feel like there's a lot of people and it's going to be a very fun event a festival as well is what I'm sensing, um, friends getting together and, um, you know, they're, they're bringing their friends too. So I feel like there's a lot of people involved and, and it's going to be a very, very fun activity. Um, what you might encounter is this King of Swords. This is an energy of a person, an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, someone who's very, very intelligent. They might be a, um, they might work in IT industry. They might also be a lawyer, a consultant, or somebody that is, you know, they, they make money by their ability to think, to reason, to offer advice, or to uh, fix other people's problems. So this is somebody who's not like an, in any way like an emotional person, but they're really intelligent and uh, I get like, you know, multiple degrees with this person. So this might be somebody from your past that is making the contact, that is inviting you out, that is making that gesture towards you. And um, I feel like 
many of you have moved on to a new person and we have here the king of pentacles so this is an earth sign a taurus a virgo or a capricorn this is somebody that exhibits the energy of this um, earth side so they can be very financially stable they can uh, they dress really well they smell really nice and they're always you know dressed very professionally they're also very status career conscious which is not a bad thing they have a very professional, competent air about them. They're very sure-footed, whereas this king can be a little bit clumsy on his feet. This one is very sure-footed, and he's um, he or she is, um, you know, they, they love to, like, buy nice things. They love nice things. They love expensive items. They know how to make money, and they know how to spend money. So you might have this person in your current state like um right now you might be in a relationship with them and so if this past person comes in calling you're gonna have to wave them goodbye and i have the two of swords to a, a state of indecisiveness so i feel many of you are going to be like thinking mulling it over do i accept the invitation and not tell my significant other about it or do I cut them out and just seize communication and, and not have to bring it up with my significant other? Uh, honesty is the best policy for you guys because I have seen a lot of lying by omission, especially with water signs. It's like, um, and especially with Pisces. So it's not a good trait. It's not an honorable trait. Be very direct and very clear when it comes to your communication. So if you're in this relationship here with an earth sign and you're co contacting, texting, and things like that and you're just like oh it's just texting you know it's not like i'm sleeping with them it's okay i don't feel like you feel it's okay because there's some guilt here in the deck um in the spread so be very very careful how you juggle the relationship i don't see the two of you like i don't see you juggling but i feel like you might be talking to them and um not letting your current partner know and you think it's just talking it's okay it's harmless but um i would urge you like if the shoe were on the other foot would you want your relationship partner talking to their exes even if it's just talking you wouldn't right so try to do the right thing okay for those of you who are completely single you have some solid solid options to choose from i have here the air sign that you might have not heard from a while and they're coming in to um, solicit you for some type of a outdoorsy event a get together and then I also have um, I feel like the air sign this air sign really really likes you and you feel it you you feel the connection but then I feel like with the um, earth sign you know earth signs are um, they have a habit of moving things really, really slowly, and they're not talkers, okay? This person might be a talker, and they might tell you how beautiful, how handsome you are. Whereas this person is a little bit more like, they need to know that you like them before they make a move. And so the ball's pretty much in your court. And so however you move forward with, and who you decide to move forward with, for those who are single, you're going to need to be very clear, and you're going to need to, um, kind of encourage the other person okay so if they buy you little things gifts and things like that I feel like they they really like you and the way that they show their love is if they help you with things they want to be helpful they want to contribute and so you've got two very very solid choices um, either way in other areas of your life um, I feel like the love life is making other areas a lot better however this is a card where you know we're wracked with guilt okay we have a lot of things that we need to take care of and instead we stay up really late texting or uh, looking at pictures or like um, planning that vacation that we're never gonna take so like wasting a lot of time doing things for some of you you are possibly dealing with some body aches some pains you might be recuperating from injuries as well I, I don't see the majority of you but either way it's like one or the other you're up really late doing wasting a lot of time when you should be sleeping or you're up because of some physical pain but based on this spread i don't feel that's the case 
I feel like money is flowing really, really well for you guys. And uh, this is like, you know, um, somebody that has investment, somebody that makes really good money. They're planning their next vacation and they're kind of distracted as well at work. And the reason why you are distracted, I feel, is this love sector is uh, blossoming. And I feel like emotionally you're very tied up in this where you're kind of distracted and you're thinking about, you know, taking trips, you're thinking about getting away, you're possibly even thinking about a house move or even taking that vacation. And so you're planning for those things rather than being emotionally invested in the present, okay? Um, I'm also sensing as well, this is your energy here. This is a card about waiting for somebody to come back, waiting for... Um, I'm sensing you might have friends from far away that are making connections as well. Like they're coming to visit, they're passing through your city, they're passing through your area. And I feel like there's, you know, waiting for some type of communication from them or waiting for the right time to meet up, waiting on contractors to finish their part of the work so that you can move forward with new projects as well. With the Ace of Wands, this is usually new homes new work opportunities, new projects that we can take up on. And it's promising to be very, very fruitful. So if you are waiting to hear back from a job, hear back from a house offer, hear back from your supervisor, your boss about, you know, new clients, new projects, new jobs, I feel like it might be happening a little bit more in the springtime, like um, maybe next year where they're going to, you know, get their funding, their plans, um, they're going to approve some of the grants. So if, for those of you who have written grants to, you know, solicit some type of funding for school or for a project or for even like a course of study, um, the grants are going to get approved. But I feel like it might not be the time right now. It might be, you know, in the Aries time frame here with this Knight of Wands. Um, many of you are contemplating some major, major vacation, big trips to decompress, to get out if you're, you've been kind of stressed out with, uh, with work, if you've also been dealing with like some physical symptoms. I'm getting a lot of like the whole spinal column in particular, there's a lot of tension in that area. So go and do something to pamper yourself, you know, getting a massage, uh, going to a spa, taking a vacation, I feel is, um, is where your mind is at. You're very distracted. Okay. So um, I feel like it's the love relationship sector bleeding into other areas of your life. And so they're saying as well, you know, get out there and have some fun. Okay. Allow some fun to come into your life. Allow some new things. So don't let it just be about work and home, work and home. Um, do what makes you happy and, you know, hang out with friends and, 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 and try to incorporate more fun into your life. Okay. So I hope the reading has been helpful. It's going to be a really, really beautiful week for you, Pisces. And I wish you all the best. Okay. Take care. Bye-bye.